Hey everybody, Dolphin Oracle here again. Starting off a series of videos showing what you get in Antics when you install it. And we're going to be looking at this as kind of a task oriented basis. Uh, and one of the first things I've seen, I've noticed, is that when people can play their music and watch their videos, we feel a lot more comfortable in an operating system. So I'm going to show you real quick how to play your music. Just to give you a little idea of the setup, set up I have in my home folder a music folder uh, you can have your music wherever you want uh, this particular computer of mine did not have music installed uh, did not have any music on so I just pulled a few albums over so you can click on the music icon on the desktop if that's your thing you're going to get XMS multimedia system uh, you can also get to that in the application sound of video XMMS and actually it's also the default if you just click on a music file this is the player that's going to open and you can play uh, whatever songs you want you can play files directories this is kind of similar if, if you think the old days the old like original Winamp XMMS is very close to the original Winamp uh, uh, you got a playlist editor graphical equalizer all sorts of options going to um, I can't pl sh hear the music, but it looks for a default in the music folder, but you can go anywhere in your file system for your music. Even mounted file systems. For instance, if your network is on a me is on a media server in your house, as long as you can access that media server, hint, hint, with connect shares, say for instance, as long as you can mount your network share, you can play it on XMMS. It's pretty nice. There's even a queue manager in the playlist editor. Once it's on the playlist, you can... Uh, kind of move things around by moving over to it. It's a little funky, but um, if you queue it, it defaults to this queue first before the playlist, and you can move things up and down like that. You can also save playlists, and it should be able to import an M3U playlist as well. I didn't try it, but it's pretty standard. Now let's say though that you're that's that's great for a couple files. But let's say you got this big collection and it's all tagged, and it's all pretty. Um, uh, you can use another option called goggles. It's also got its uh, issues. I've put a few albums in here already. Um, again, it's a media player. You can search by genre. This does this is going to do the things that you would expect from a more modern music manager. It's not going to help you manage any device media player devices that you have, but it is going to let you play your music on uh, this machine. And you can see that I can search all genres. Here's like an ABBA, Black Crows. They're all in here. You got the song manager, and it does play. I don't think you're going to hear it through my speakers, but trust me, it's playing. So it's playing. Like I say, it will not uh, work with your media player, but it will organize your music on your device. Again, it does playlists. You can actually listen to internet radio, set up a radio station. Uh, it's got a lot of nice features. What does this replace? Well, if you're coming from Windows, this is going to replace uh, something like Windows Media Player, at least on the music side. Now, what are those items not going to do that Media Player does? Uh, they're not going to find album art, for instance. They don't. Neither one of those utilities rip music. That will be the subject for another video. But we do have utilities and antics that let you do that. Tips, tricks, how-tos. Visit antics.mepis.org. Drop us a post of the forms at antics.freeforms.org. Stolfin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.